Radiant One here. This is the fifth video in a series focusing on ground energy extraction. And this fifth video deals with the path to the ground and they make some important observations and address some of the questions that have been raised on the, the forum. Okay, what we're going to do first though is to just look at what is the effect of inserting some components uh, between the ground and the load. So we're going to try a capacitor and we're going to try the diode. First of all we're going to have a look at what's the effect of inserting the diode. And what you're going to find is basically the, the energy in the ground does not pass through the diode at all. The load lights up a tiny bit with the um, diode, but basically I think it's just a metal in the um, in the in the lead. It's really not passing what the circuit needs to light up. I've reversed the diode now just to see if it's any different. Now the primary frequency of this circuit is in the order of six megahertz, and um, the diode's rated to up to 100 megahertz, so it's it's not the frequency of the circuit that's not what's causing the problem here. Now let's try the capacitor. The LEDs are lit as brightly as they normally light uh, with the ground connected, so the capacitor is really providing no. Um, barrier to the energy from the ground and I think this is significant because when I look at circuits now and I look at them and I think well if there's a diode there the energy coming out of the ground is going to be blocked if there's a capacitor there like Moray used in his circuits then uh, the energy appears to be not blocked the second issue has come up on overuni.com a fair bit people are saying can't you use a wire instead of the ground yes you can but only at uh, low power levels. If you want to power something significant, you're going to need the electrons that are in the ground. And I, it's a little bit evident in the circuit. You'll see the demo. So I've got the basic circuit set up there. Just recapping again. Hooking the circuit up to the external ground rod. And basically the current's the same, whether it's connected or not. Now what I've done is just left it. So we've just got the wire as a load now. Instead of the ground, it's a virtual ground. And you can see, yes, the LEDs are lit, but it's drawing more p power than normal. Okay, so what if we connected it to that piece of wire? Is a, it's like a truck battery jumper lead thing I found on the road. It's quite heavy. And you can see, yes, we're consuming. It's the same as if we connected to the ground. But what you'll see now is I actually take the real ground wire and I connect it up and I touch it. And the circuit gets brighter with no more current being consumed. The real ground is a better source of um, energy than just the wire. And if we go to higher power levels, then uh, what's the, the free electrons in the wire will not be enough. We need the sea of electrons under our feet 